Hey, this is Mr. Mason Day, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to practice finding the slope of a line that passes through a pair of given points. So the slope of a line is really defined by the change in y values of that line as compared to the corresponding changes in its x values. This little triangle here is a symbol that's called delta, which represents change in mathematics. So we could read this as the change in y values as compared to the change in x values. Now to determine this, what we do is we take from our pair of points the second y value, which is called our y2, and subtract from it our first y value, or y1. And for the denominator, we take our second x, or x2, and we subtract from that x1. Well, we know that ordered pairs come in xy pairs. So the first number in parentheses is an x value, and the second value is a y value. So this 12 here is an x, and this negative 2 right here is a y. Now, because this is our first point listed, we're going to call this x1 and y1. And because this is our second point listed, we're going to call this x2 and y2. So what we're going to do according to this formula here is we're going to start with y2 and subtract from it y1. And then we're going to put that over x2 and subtract from it x1. So y2 is negative 2. And then we have to write a minus as that is part of our formula. And we have to subtract from it positive 2. And for the denominator, we have 12 for the x2 value. And we have to subtract from 12 our x1 value, which is negative 8. All right, what we're going to do next is we're going to simplify our numerator. Negative 2 take away 2 is negative 4. And for the denominator, 12 minus negative 8 is positive 20. Because we were subtracting a negative by rule, we have to turn both of these signs positive. Now, if only one of your two values at the end is negative, that means your entire slope is going to be negative. And if your slope can be simplified, you have to go ahead and do that too. 4 and 20 can be reduced by a factor of 4, and that would give us 1 over 5. So the slope of the line in this problem is negative 1 fifth. All right, let's go ahead and do another example. All right, so I'm going to start off by labeling our ordered pairs x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. And once you get the hang of where things go, you don't have to label these because you'll have the locations memorized. So we're going to start with our y2, which is positive 4. And we subtract from it y1, which is 8. And we're going to put that over the change in our x values, which is going to be determined by negative 24 minus negative 16, which is our x1 value. So for the numerator, or change in y values, we have 4 take away 8, which is negative 4. And for the denominator, we have negative 24 plus 16, which is negative 8. Now, when both of your values are negative, we have to remember that it turns into a positive. So the slope of this line is going to be positive 1 half. All right, let's go ahead and do another example. All right, notice in this problem that both of our y values are identical. And whenever your y values are identical, the slope of a line that passes through a pair of points like this is going to be 0. Now, the reason for this is because the line formed by those two points is going to be a horizontal line. And a horizontal line is flat. It doesn't rise to the right, which would be positive, or go down to the right, which is negative. It has no slope whatsoever. So we would say that the slope of this line is going to be 0. Now, just to plug in the numbers to show it's going to be 0, we're going to take our second y and subtract it from our first y. And do the same with the x's. We have 9 minus negative 4. And that gives us 0 at the top. And on the bottom, we have positive 13. So if you don't notice that the y values are the same at first, and you end up plugging everything in and solving, if you get a 0 for your numerator, you can say at that point that the slope of that line is 0. Now, 
Let's look at an example when the x values are the same. So with this example, the x values are both positive 6. Now, when this occurs, that means that our line is going to be a vertical line. And we would say that the slope of a vertical line is undefined. So when you see two points with the same x values, right away you can just say that the answer is undefined. Well, let's just see what happens if we plug in the numbers into our equation. So we're going to start with the change in y values, which is going to be negative 8, take away 9. And we're going to put that over 6, take away 6. So for the numerator, we have negative 17. And for the denominator, we have 0. So whenever you have 0 for a denominator, the slope of your line is going to be undefined. I just want to say thanks for checking out this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to follow me at any of my social media sites that are listed on the screen.